Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm your host, the Poke Gamer. In the last episode, we basically did a little favor for the leader of the Mobile City Gym. Um, we had a generator that we had to shut off because apparently it was too dangerous, so we went ahead and did that. We ended up getting a free Thunderbolt TM, and um, yeah. Uh, I also did catch my new team member, which was Magneton. Um, I did train it up as well, I've given it the Quick Claw because Magneton is not exactly the fastest Pokemon. Um, I did give uh, Magneton Thunderbolt. <clears throat> um, I also get, or in the game corner, I did um, do a little bit of uh, playing there to get Thunderbolt as well as a few other I or, yeah, items, TMs and shit from the game corner as well. So I mean, there's that. So um, yeah, we're gonna kind of continue with what we're gonna do today, which is basically just heading north to the next city. Now, I want to make sure he starts getting experience, so... And as you can see, these two move around quite a bit. They tend to be, you know, on your way to you know, each area that you go to. And then you can give them a little interview if you really want to, but obviously I'm not going to be giving them interviews. Let's see here. We'll do that. Kill Wildred or not. Hit yourself. Wow. Go figure. Hmm, what do I want to do here? pretty ridiculous special attack. Uh, I did EV train it off screen, so I mean, I did the best that I could with its speed as well as its or special attack. No, I'm not going to give you an interview to waste time. I have to fucking waste the time healing, thank you very much. Um, do I have? Yes, I do have a full heal. I should still have some super potions, but I apparently don't. Story. I should have orange berries. Yay! It's a say help at all, but whatever. Ain't this a lot of fun? Just you know, sitting here using orange berries. That's good enough. Now we got this Fisher guy, which. I think I battled last time. I don't really remember. Um, and I did get that hidden item that was over there. So now when we go up here, Steven will be here to greet us. So, yeah. If I remember correctly, he gives us, I think, the nut and finder. I don't know. I guess he doesn't give us anything. That's interesting. He, for some reason, remember him giving us something. Anyways, we got two uh, flying. I think we have two flying trainers here. So, I mean. Either everyone's like a guitarist or some shit. For some reason, they have similar sprites. So, who knows? That Magneton, though. The back sprite for Magneton in this game is actually pretty cool, too. Like, sometimes some of their sprites are just pretty bad, but. No complaints here. Yep, he is a flying trainer. Okay. I could have sworn there was a trainer here with a main neck trick, but whatever. Of course. GG. 
So, for anyone who's going to the midnight release of X and Y, we have four days left. If you're going, like, much later than it, it's probably still roughly five. Because, I mean, once it hits midnight on Friday night, everyone who's getting their shit at midnight is going to be like, oh, okay. Which, might I add, if you didn't already know this, if you can put money on your eShop, on your 3DS, it's recommended because the second that, um, X and, like, the second that it becomes midnight on Friday, uh, Pokemon X and Y can be bought on the eShop, so... Of course, I just can't not get an encounter here. Hello, dog with big head. Yeah, see, that one I expected. The other one, no. I could easily kill it, but I'm not really going to because there's no point. And over here we have a new berry, citrus berries. Um, anyone that plays competitively knows that these are a decent berry. Some competitive teams actually do have, like there are some Pokemon that usually use them. There are things like Tropius who have Harvest in Generation 5 where they can recycle a used berry, things like that. I don't think that Harvest was an ability in this generation though, so I mean it's not like it's something you can abuse, but... <clears throat> now, this is not a trainer, but he's there just basically to tell you that you can't ride a bike in this grass, so you will have to walk through it. Now this grass is very um, peculiar, there are trainers in it, and they kind of do the opposite of your moves to kind of trap you. See, as they move, like, you know, they're all right there, so... Like if you actually are trying to find them, they might move away from you. Which would be kind of annoying, but... <sighs> Go away, Wormpole. Get destroyed by a Magneton. And I think my mom's like baby talking to the dog right now. Loud enough, might I add, that I can hear her through my headset. I don't know why, but I just, I just never, like, I used to be like that, I just don't do that anymore. Like, I don't know how the animal exactly feels about being talked to like that. And at the same time, I feel kind of like a fool for doing it. Like, I understand it's not really that big of a deal, but still, like... I don't know. Like, I sometimes still do it with the cat just because I, she likes the attention and shit, but, like, at the same time, she is the type to just kind of just lay around and do whatever. Fuck your moonlight. I'm surprised that failed. I guess they didn't like implement it as a uh, type of thing like Roar in Generation 5 where it would just pull out another Pokemon. Yeah, see how he moves away? I don't remember how many trainers are out here, so if I have a Repel, I might want to use it. first time we're actually using Surf in battle or not. I haven't exactly used Swampert since I got the rest of my team. But whatever. I'm kind of surprised that he has Sword Stance in that. Only kind of surprised, not like super amazingly oh my god surprised, but definitely surprised. Hyper Potion, nice. 
Um, speaking of items, I want to go and check to see if I have any kind of repels. Repel, nice. That'll work. In this grass, you can find Tropius, by the way. It's a decent grass flying type, but I don't know. That's up to you, really. Like, I don't really like it. And the neighbors are now being loud. GG. Get Thunderbolt, bitch. I was actually hoping we'd be further up north by now. You have quite a bit of this route to go. I think I already, yeah, I've already battled him. Here's the trainer. Yeah, he, apparently they call themselves the Mimic Circle. That ninja ask that's about to get thunderbolted. Boom! GG. It's kind of a shame that Ninjask wasn't better. Like, I understand it's good for the whole Baton Pass Sword Stance crap with speed boost in Generation 5, but, I mean, let's be real. There are more trainers over here, holy crap. Okay, well, at least the Super Repel will help with this. Bulby! Another Pokemon that I wish that was actually a lot better than it is, because it's actually one of my favorite Pokemon, at least in regards to the design, as well as the fact that it has things like Prankster and shit in Generation 5. Um, it just makes it a little more viable, which is cool. Like, I'm kind of happy about that. Same with Illumise. Um, like, I, I've, I've been able to see them be quite the nuisances to people. So, I mean. Trying to preserve my Thunderbolts. Oh boy, Aaron leveled up. Guess what that means? Time to cancel out another evolution. You shall not evolve. You will have double edge before the fucking Elite Four. I hate to, like pos or postpone it and shit, but like for real. Like, double edge is just gonna be so much better than takedown. And believe you me, like, it's kind of annoying that I don't have at least the, the layer on already. Like, I really did want to kind of have it for this, but. Like, I might just, f just say fuck it and go off screen and fucking get double edge and let it evolve. Um. I don't know. Like, I guess you'll have to see on. on we do the next episode because, like, for real. I actually have expected that to survive. Like, I understand I have a level difference, like a huge level gap, but still. Like, it's a bulky Pokemon. Take that spark. Catch. 414 experience, nice. I believe this is a good chunk of all the trainers, if it's not all of them. That repel's about to wear off, isn't it? Let's see here, is that all of them? Yes it was, we got through all of the trainers, yay! Wow, he's an idiot. This place there is a bunch of Wingle. So, if I remember correctly, like, there's a Wingle later in the game that you can find, talk to, or whatever, and it'll reappear back here. I think it sends mail to him or some shit like that. I don't really remember. This area, this is basically the start of everyone's nightmares, assuming that they, you know, uh, one might load it. Um, this route is very, you know, retarded. And I'm probably going to cover it in the next episode, because I only have time for this battle, basically. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, the most retarded route ever. If you ever played this game before, and you wanted a certain Pokemon that was in this area, well, 
can look at that. Trust me, I, w I wouldn't mind having one myself, but just searching for it would be a pain in the ass. It would be a, literally a complete pain in the ass. Speak of the devil. Okay, you can stop dancing around. Drag it. Then again, he did throw out a fish on dry land. It's logic. Stop bouncing around, jeez and crow. Like, for real, it wastes like 10 seconds. And I don't even level up. Great. Anyway, in the next episode, we will be continuing north, and hopefully we'll finally make it to the next city, but somehow, I strongly doubt it. It'll probably be the episode after this one. So until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing out.